Good evening, everyone. Our last box of this particular case of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. This personal box is for Tyrone, TT, with this one. Good luck, sir. There's the box topper, one original 1969 card inside. We'll break that pack open, we'll rip that pack last. So, last box of the case. So here are the numbers. Here's what it looks like. So, so Joe, what, what what did you get? Just one autograph. That was Raphael Devers. That was a nice one. Just one Shohei Otani base card. Just pulled that in the previous box. And then a bunch of nice relics, and, and then we got the hot box and the short prints and all that sort of stuff. Um, so we're, let's see what this last box has in store for us. So that's what we've seen. Now our eyes are to the future. What are we going to see in this box? So hopefully something cool for Tyrone. Packs make it hard to open quickly. But. This is the first major product. I, kn I know that, you know, this is a good product. Even if Otani wasn't in this, this would be a pretty solid product. But definitely, the the Otani hype has definitely raised the uh, it's definitely raised the bar on a lot of the baseball products this year. So keep track of that baseball. My hope, of course, is you know, knock on wood, that Shohei Otani is healthy. And plays relatively well. I don't need him to like just ball out, but I mean, it'd be nice if he does that. But, but uh, I I just want to be healthy, you know, and put together a good season. Maybe uh, maybe the Angels get into the playoffs. Maybe see him in the playoffs. That would be pretty cool. Um, I think that would be that would be the most realistic and ideal scenario. Now the other scenario is who is the other rookie? Like, there's always every year there's always one or two rookies. That are going to be like the hot chase in uh, in a lot of products. So who is that rookie going to be? Now, there, obviously, there's a lot of prospecting that we can do inside a Bowman draft and whatnot. But who's the big rookie going to be aside from Otani? Last year around this time, no one was thinking Aaron Judge. Not not re not realistically anyway. And any Yankee fan that tells you, "Oh, I totally expected it. We saw the signs in spring training." Forget it. They want those Yankees fans want to trade Aaron Judge in the offseason. But he kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, everyone knew that Cody Bellinger was a highly rated prospect. But to play as well as he did on his way to a Rookie of the Year campaign, I don't know if that was really expected either. So there's always going to be someone else. It won't, hopefully it won't just be just Angels next year or this year, this upcoming year. All right, Tyrone, good luck. Thanks for grabbing this personal box. Cash on demand. Did the ATM really start in 1969? Huh. Wow. A doco teller? Huh. They call it a doco teller. That's what I'm going to start calling it from now on. Excuse me, sir. Where's your nearest doco teller? I don't know why I affected that kind of accent for a New Yorker, but... Doco teller. Excuse me, where's your doco teller? Don't know what doco teller is? What are you from 1968? Doco, everyone knows what a doco teller is. All right, next stack. Is Mike Trout, Chrome. That's nice. It's four oh five or four ninety five. 
405. 405 out of 999 on that Mike Trout. This year might be one of the few years where, where people in like future breaks, <laughs> this might be one of the few years where someone's gonna be disappointed to get a Mike Trout autograph instead of an Otani autograph. One of the few years that that'll ever happen. Unfortunately, no autograph in this box, but wait, what, what did I miss, Joe Cavanaugh? There's no Syndergaard relic. Oh, did I miss a did I miss a nickname one? Yeah, I'll, I will go back. Hang on a second. Well, here's Syndergaard again, Tyrone. It's your relic, so probably no auto on that. Oh, good eye. Good eye. Good eye. Four. I don't know. I don't know how short printed these are, but I like these nickname ones. Are you serious? Stop. Joe Cavanaugh says this is about 150 bucks. Your box is paid for, Tyrone. Thor was uh, in his spring training start. He was lighting up the gun. I think he only had like an 11 pitch outing for spring trading. And he was hitting over 100 or about 100 on, on the gun. People are nervous, obviously. He's coming off of uh, injury. Hitting 100 on the gun. And in the, in the post in the post game press conference, uh, on the press conference, he was just like, he was just like, yeah, I wasn't even trying hard. That wasn't max effort. Oh, there's his regular card right there. That wasn't even max effort. I was like, oh, okay. Sent Noah Syndergaard. I see. I see what you're trying to do. I don't know why I'm setting. I like these for some reason. That's why I'm setting those aside. Yeah. So is this Marti, Mar Martin or Martin? Martin Maldonado. Is that Candy Maldonado's? Is that Candy Maldonado's uh, son? Nephew? Something? All right, and the last bit here. A couple checklists. Rich Hill, Ian Kinsler, Correa, and John Scope. Really fantasy baseball players. Really underrated second baseman if you're looking for him. All right, and your original is Larry Durker. Of course, everyone remembers him from Woodland Hills, California. Just over the in the valley, just over the uh, over the hill, and there you have it, Tyrone. So, thanks, Joe Cavanaugh, for pointing that. Well, this would have shipped anyway, but now it's even better protected in there. Some nice stuff. Thanks, everybody. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.